right guys, so your fridge is doing this. Okay. I'm gonna remove some shelves and get behind the evaporator cover. And we're gonna see what's going on with this thing. All right, stay tuned. If you have to get behind the evaporator cover and do some work, you have this whole thing here which sometimes you have to remove it but you can pretty much get behind there and lift and pull without having to remove the entire thing um, i'll show you how to do that you just basically lift it and extract it out all right guys that's pretty much how you do it you basically lift the back and pull the front and you have full access one screw one screw one down there on the left, and you have two right there. And then you pretty much just do what you need to do. You don't have to remove this whole thing. You don't have to remove the doors. You can take the shelves out, all that good stuff. All right, guys. So this is what it's doing. Okay. You can hear the damper. going to do I'm going to disconnect the the mister all right guys so I want to talk real quick about uh, the misters now on this particular unit it had a bad thermistor now if you're not careful when you install in actuality you should actually replace the entire assembly that's what Whirlpool says uh, you can buy a Whirlpool thermistor and you can splice it in. Now, if you are not careful in splicing it correctly, meaning the length of the wire has to be pretty exact. Otherwise, you will get a bad reading or you will not even get it to work. So you have to cut the wires to the same length as which you remove the old one. All right, you see that, how short that is? That's how it needs to be. You don't want a whole mile of wire hanging out in there. All right. All right, guys, you can see the temperature is dropping already. We're already at 44, and that's since the fan is running. So 